Okay, I just sprayed down the mixer with Windex and I'm gonna clean it really good. And then I'm gonna attempt to make this a copper KitchenAid because they're like, what, five, six hundred dollars? And I don't wanna, I don't wanna spend five or six hundred dollars for another KitchenAid when I have one that works perfectly good. So let's clean this off and then see how this works. Hey you guys, this video is videoed very like, I guess crude. This is a Sunday afternoon and I just got a whim. I thought I want a copper KitchenAid. So um, I've had this red one for 15 years come January and um, I, the one I was looking at was like 650, um, even a little bit higher than that. So I mean, they're beautiful and if you don't have one, yes, buy the certain color you want and especially if you use it, but I only use my KitchenAid like five or six times a year and this red one works perfect. So um, I thought I'm gonna give it a try and see if this <laughs> works. So I've never seen this done. Um, Carrie and I were talking on Sunday and I told her, I don't know how we got on the subject, but I was like, I want a copper KitchenAid and she's like, you know you can paint those and I I said I've never even looked it up or heard about someone painting a KitchenAid. I had thought about it probably eight months ago and I had everything set out and then I got chickened and changed my mind. But this time when I heard Carrie say that people had did this before, I thought, okay, well, if they did it, I can do it. So um, I knew you have to tape off and I knew you would need some type of primer and paint and you would obviously want to spray paint, not hand paint, but I mean, I guess you could hand paint if you wanted to, but I'm just going to show you how I did it. So this whole movie is going to be a voiceover because I casually videoed as I was doing it. I didn't even think I would make a video about this. So, but when it turned out, I thought, well, I might as well use the footage I have and, um, record or not record but put the the video as I have together and try to make a video so this is Violet and I and she thinks she's helping um in reality she's not <laughs> but uh I taped off with just regular painter's tape I think that's what you call it and um I'm not a very good taper offer if that's how you say it so if someone in your family is very good at taping off, I would let them do that. Uh, my sister Tara would probably have been more precise because she just has patience for stuff like this, but it it worked. I only had to go over a couple spots after uh, I painted it, but um, on the little stripping right there, I would use scissors to try to get more of a narrow... Um, strip to put on over the silver and now I'm wondering if you could even take that stripping part off because it screws right behind the KitchenAid. Um, I didn't even think to try that so I yeah you could try it I don't know why you couldn't just screw it back in and then you wouldn't even have to tape that part off but I didn't even think about that till I was literally like put it in it on the countertop but so I just flipped the KitchenAid around and I'm starting it on the other side that little round part right there that's taped off on the very front of the KitchenAid kind of like the little nozzle I taped that off and then realized later take that completely off like unscrew it take that silver thing off and just put a little piece of tape over the hole so the paint don't go in the hole and you don't even have to tape that off. So don't bother taping that front nozzle part off. Just take it completely off. Um, I was using a knife to kind of get in the edges, a, a small razor blade like what you would clean windows with would be way easier, but I didn't have one. So I just used a knife to kind of push it in those edges and then cut it as well to get more of a precise, um, line I guess you would say 
and this is in between church services and that's why I'm in my robe because I got up about 4.30, went to church and then came home and decided to do this. So yeah, who likes to do projects in your regular clothes? Not me. I like to be in pajamas. So that's why I'm in a robe. But I'm just kind of pushing it in right there to really ensure a clean line. And I did a really good job. Um, I surprised myself. So there you go. It's all taped in. And that part right there on the front, don't even tape that off. Just take it completely off. And I taped the bottom off. So um, now it's time to spray paint and see how this works. And I took that little blue thing off there on the side as well. Um... I used the Rust-Oleum Metallic Aged Copper. Um, you could use the regular copper, not aged, but I decided to use the aged, and it's all Walmart had. I didn't want to go to Lowe's, and it worked. So I, this is my first coat, and I'm just doing a light coat, um, nothing heavy. And it, I'm sorry about the mess in the garage, but it was so windy I couldn't spray outside. and. Titus was gone and the girls were in the house and I didn't want them out in the cold. So here I am after spraying it with all the bronze and I'm just adding um, three coats of the clear matte that you see. So I did three coats of the aged metallic copper and once it dried completely then I added three coats of the clear. It's the next night and I have the camera set low because so you guys can see the KitchenAid, but um, it turned out pretty good. I mean, it looks like a copper KitchenAid. Um, I have to go take some goof off with a clean rag and just kind of go along the silver part edges because I got a little bit of overspray, but not bad. So let's clean this off and then um, I guess you can see the whole So three coats of the aged metallic copper spray paint, let it dry, then three coats of the matte clear coat to put on top to ensure it don't scratch. And I'm just taking a Q-tip and ensuring more of a clean line and a rag as well with some goof off on it. It, it turned out beautiful. I wouldn't know myself. If I walked into my kitchen, I would think I bought the, co the copper KitchenAid. So, if you have a KitchenAid that's you're tired of the color, then paint it. Don't go spend money unless you just have an extra four to seven hundred dollars laying around. Then go buy one. But this one works fine, and I thought I'll save money and just try it, and it worked. So if you guys try it, um, comment below and let me know. So I'm cleaning up the cord a little bit. Um, I had a little overspray there, but hey. I have a kitchen copper a kitchen a copper KitchenAid now and it just looks so pretty on my countertops and I'm so glad I tried it and um, it worked.